everyone. I'm here today to share my new journal that is finally finished. Um, I had shared the painted cross stitch cover already, but now all the insides are done, charm is done, it's ready to go. So here it is. Um, this is made from the cover of an old dictionary that used to belong to my husband's grandma. And it was, I mean, the spine was falling off, it's falling apart. Some of the edges are still really rough, but um, I thought I could make it work. So I took the covers off. Um, I, so it's the whole front cover. And then I've added a spine that extends it because it wasn't quite as wide as I would have liked. So the spine extends it a little bit so that the pages inside can be a little wider. So I have used the front and back cover of that some vintage fabric on the spine, uh, these little lace strips just as decoration. Um, and then here's the charm, the also vintage buttons. I like these cute little iridescent birds. There's two of those charms. And then I also made a couple of, I don't know if you can see them, but these little paper beads from the dictionary pages of the actual dictionary. There's just a few on here, but I thought they added a nice little touch. And then I've never made paper beads before, so they're not the best. I know I can do better, but they, they worked really well for this. And I think they're really cute. And I like that they incorporate some of the original book there. So let's flip to the inside here. So there's some of that vintage fabric on the inside, the scrapbook paper for the lining. And then there's lots of scrapbook paper pages in here, some pockets, some vintage workbook pages, ledger paper. Oops. Some of the pages I left white because it's always fun to add more patterns and papers and stuff that you either come across while you're working in the book or just didn't think to add. So I like that those spaces are there. Some place to add that whenever I want to. Some stitched pocket. Um, some carbon paper. These are pages from an old um, phone book that I found on our trip when we went to Texas. And they're really light and flimsy, which kind of makes me nervous. Um, but I really, I just really like the color. They're not all this color, but I really liked this green color. So I thought I would give it a try. And we'll see how that turns out. Um, here's some new paper from the American Crafts. Kingdom Garden collection, I think it's called, something like that. Um, I think it's probably my favorite scrapbook paper ever. <laughs> um, it's just really, really pretty. So I think I need to order more of this. I only ordered a few sheets because uh, I wasn't sure what it looked like in person, but it's really pretty. Ledger paper, fold out page, more pockets. This is butterfly paper from a guidebook that I've got. So that's the inside. A lot of these pages are folded off center so that you have you know, a larger page and a smaller page. It's not a huge difference in this case because the book is about the right size for them. But, um, this little pocket from a vintage sewing book, a vintage painting book, like a how-to guide, um, some Dickie Jane pages. So yeah, I'm really excited to get started on this. Um, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a day where it was sunny enough to film. I, it's not it's still great today, but it'll work. So I can finally dig in and start working in here. Another Dick and Jane page, it's a full page kind of pocket. Matte paper. Order form. music paper. I realized as I was making this book and gathering all of, I was just pulling my favorite papers that I liked. Um, and this is kind of unusual, but they all seemed to be like very blues and greens um, together. And green is my favorite color, but I'm usually not a blue person. So I thought that was kind of surprising, but I really like how it has come together and how it all looks. Coming to the end now, here's some storybook paper, pocket. This is like an old math textbook. 
page. So I have some like vintage handwriting paper. So yeah, there it is. There are nine signatures here and they're a little closer together than I typically space them. Um, I like to space them fairly wide because as you, or as I work in these books, they, they chunk up a lot. Um, and I don't love it when it gets like this, you know, and it's open and alligator mouthy. Um, so they're usually spaced fairly wide apart. They're a little closer this time than I would normally do, but I think it's going to be fine. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so that's this. Um, there's five pages per signature, nine signatures. Um, so there's quite a few pages in here. There's a lot of space to fill. Um, I'm excited to get started. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, you can leave them in the comment box. But otherwise, here we go. Bye.